Snap world. Um, the hubby is on what they call staff duty. And so he's going to be pretty much gone for like the whole day. Yeah. So it's just me and the mic mics today for a little bit. He gets like breaks um, throughout the day. So, but right now I am going to um, pack my hospital bag. How exciting. Mm. Finally, it's like, well, I'm not really quite there yet, but I might as well get everything ready. And I will show you guys what I am going to pack for the baby and what I'm going to pack for myself. So, oh, look, he's picking him out some shoes already. Show them what you got him. We got the baby brother. Huh? Look at that belly. Is the baby in there? Is the baby in that big old belly? Is he in that big old belly? Where's the baby? There. Where's the baby? There. He's not in the camera. Where's your baby brother? There. Show them, show them where your baby brother is. There. <laughs> show them where your baby brother is. Where's baby brother? Yay. He's not in your belly. He's not in that belly. He's got a big old belly, but he's not in there. Where's your baby brother? Hmm? Yay. <laughs> All right, well, um, I'm going to look for some stuff um, to put in his bag, and I will show you once I get everything together. What up, world? Well, I made two versions of this. I made the real version. Now I'm about to make the version for my wife so she can put it on her vlog. Well, this is my day. Today I'm on staff duty, driving the Sergeant Major around so he can go qualify with his M4. Well, hopefully he qualifies quick. Don't want to be down here all day. I qualify quick because I can shoot. But most of the military cannot shoot, surprisingly. Well, anyways, I'm just chilling in this soft top Hummer. Humpy. Uh, he's out there right now trying to qualify, but this consists of my day after this. I'll go drive the on TV, which is like a big ass, kind of like a semi truck almost, or more like a, a two ton dump truck kind of. Drive that around, gotta pick up some generators and shit. And so I'm now I'll just be stuck on staff duty doing nothing, waiting for my breaks. This is the garrison life of the military, no fun. I don't get to drive any of our cool vehicles like the RGs or the Buffaloes or anything like that. We only get to do those when we're on little field problems. But, it's the military life, but I will be out of this hopefully soon enough. A couple of months left and I'll be done. Go back to the civilian world where it's at. I love and respect what everyone in the military does. I went through it. Good fun, but way better to be a civilian and have your rights. Unless you enjoy being bossed around by everybody. Because in the military there's always somebody higher than you and they will always make you do crap work. Me, I prefer to be able to, you know, govern myself, tell myself what to do, make smart decisions. I don't like doing other people's stupid ideas just because they're not intelligent enough yet they have a rank so they think they need to boss people around. But I like our Sergeant Major, he's a cool guy. But he is one of the few, most people around here are dicks. Remember that, if you're high ranking in the military, you were probably picked on as a kid, so it's your chance to finally get everyone back. So you're gonna use your rank to your advantage and try to fucking bully everyone else. But they can't bully me. Cause I'm a grown ass man and I really don't give a fuck. Should edit that out, but... Anyways, just doing this for my wife, she said to make her little vlog footage for her vlog while I was at work, so I'm just showing her what I do. Usually on a daily basis it's worse than this. We're usually glorified fucking lawn care and fucking maintenance people. Walk around in uniform and mow grass, mop, fix shit. Yeah, military's not really what you think it is. You may think it's all hua hua, but most of the time it's all fucking sweeping, mopping, mowing, getting yelled at, front lean rest. But I like that. I like when they try to smoke me. 
I enjoy the push-ups, sit-ups, flutter kicks, whatever they want to make you do. It ain't hard. Some people crack, but I don't mind getting yelled at. It's pretty easy. That's usually why they don't really yell at me either, because they know it doesn't really bother me. And I usually always do what I'm supposed to. But, that being said, this just ain't for me. There's better things in this world for me. But I appreciate the money. As little as it is for what we do, I appreciate it. Alright, world. I got... Well, let me tell my wife, I got you. You can upload this to your blog now. Aside from that, my day is done. I'm going to sit here and wait for the Sergeant Major. And drive him around some more. Alright, deuces. So I finished getting everything together and I laid it out and I will show you guys um, what all I'm going to pack. So here goes. Over there is going to be the baby's bag. I'm going to put all his stuff in and his big brother stuff. Um, I haven't got him any clothes out yet because... He's going to be wearing his clothes up until that moment, and if he does need anything, I'll just have my husband come back and get him some clothes. So, right now, I have for the baby, I have this little swaddle me thing. I didn't have one of these with um, my oldest, which sucks, because it seems so cool. My little sis my sister, she had um, got one for her daughter, and I thought they were so cool, so... I bought him one, and it is um, like a little kind of perfect swaller type thing. So I'm excited to use that. And here is a little bit of outfits for him. This is for if he's like kind of on the smaller side, like my oldest was. Like these fit him perfectly. Like they're. I think like five to eight pounds so if he's smaller he should be able to fit into this and this is just another one that his brother had before him so that looks I thought that was pretty cool so and some shorts they're supposed to be newborn these shorts right here so I might do this and this I don't know if that's going to be his going home outfit or something. I don't know. I'll figure that out once he's born and see how big he is and stuff. And I only have a few newborn shoes like this. These, I thought these were cute when I found them. I found them at the thrift store and they look like brand new, not even worn. So hopefully you can fit these and put them on with some outfit. I don't know. And these little booties I got when I found out I was pregnant with my first son. So you can wear those. Oh. And if it's kind of cold outside, I got him this full bodysuit to wear. My son, my oldest, never really got to wear it much because obviously he was born in July and it's like hot as a mofo. So I don't know if it's going to be like with the weather how it is nowadays. I don't know what the weather's going to be like on the day that I have him so I got this little cover just in case I need an extra one it kind of matches this little bodysuit so that's cute and these little newborn I think they're newborn Hold on. yeah newborn so just in case he's on the bigger longer side he can fit these so I don't know if um, they do the pictures or not at the hospital, but if they do, I don't really have a outfit for him. So I need to get on that. I need to find him a um, picture outfit. And here's my stuff. Okay, I just got a tank and some shorts to put on after I have him because, um, yeah, I don't sleep in pants. Even though it's probably going to be cold as a mofo up in there, I still don't sleep in shorts. So I'll just bring a cover or something. And these are shorts. 
with the matching shirt. And um, my going home outfit, I have like two just in case. Like, this is for if I'm feeling blah. They're just some regular black sweats to put on because um, I don't want to wear anything tight after having a baby. Yeah. I'm not about that life yet. And this shirt it says, I love army boys. So I'm going to wear that with the black um, pants. If I'm feeling a little, if I'm feeling myself after I have him, maybe a pink tank and my leopard pants. They're pretty comfortable. And I have some leopard slippers over here to put on while in the hospital and probably going away well I'll probably bring some um flip flops also and here's my little bag I'm gonna put everything in and excuse me I um still gotta get like my toiletries and stuff ready like I need to get um I need to put a bar of soap wash rag or something towel and two brushes stuff like that and if i do forget anything we live like literally like right down the street so that's good so then i can just have my husband come get me some stuff from home but um right now that's all i have for him right now i really do need to find him a picture outfit so just in case they do take hospital pictures i want him to look nice but um yeah um, I can't remember what else I might need. Well, I already have, like, undergarments and stuff in the bag. I'm not going to show y'all that. Y'all want to see that. But, um, yeah. I'm excited but nervous at the same time. It's coming close. It's getting close. But, yeah, that's all I have for right now. If I happen to add anything to it, I will probably show you guys what I added. Yeah, I'm looking a little bit ratchet, but... Not everyone can be cute 24-7, right? So, um, right now, I guess, we're just gonna chill until his dad gets home from staff duty for his other break. Actually, probably for a while. But, anyways, we're just gonna chill, watch TV, and if anything interesting happens, I'll probably vlog, or I'll try to just get a little bit more footage. But, yeah, right now, that's Everything that I have for him and myself is all this stuff right here. So yeah, I think I did pretty good because I'm actually a really bad packer and I happen to not bring too much stuff. I'm proud of myself. I really am. So yeah, um, I will talk to you guys a little later. Peace. <laughs> Silly boots. Oh, you give me a kiss? Can you give the mommy a kiss? Mm -hmm. uh, you're trying to act. <laughs>